there might have been just a pub disco in those days um, and so we, we the whole idea was to bring a, a nightclub with a good sound system a good light show and, and again good entertainment yeah because um, as it was uh, I don't know what it when it started off was it just the one floor um, you know, yes, uh, oh, how can I say, there was two floors, it was two, two clubs, mm. there was always a downstairs club, but that was more of a pub club, and then upstairs was the, was, was the big entertainment room. Yeah, uh, so um, you, when, when you had a reef after a few, few years, you called it Darwin's, and uh, I know on, there's a, on the Facebook page, uh, people have been asking why, or how did the name Darwin's come about? Yeah, well, it's probably there because I was losing a competition on this, but now you're there. Um, no, we call it Darwin's because it was down under. Yeah. Right, and uh, downstairs, you know, down under the whole rest of the club. And Darwin's being a major city in, in Australia. Oh, I see, yeah. Well, there you are. That's answered all the questions for the Facebook people on the Berkeley page. Uh, now, uh, like I said, you, you talked about famous people. Uh, over the years uh, that you worked at the Berkeley, you've had lots of big bands. You've had, uh, you know, the, the top, top, ten, top 10, top 20 chart hits come in. Uh, are there any in particular that stick in your mind? Uh, well, yeah, very good? Um, Gina G was very popular. That yeah. was a great one. She was actually number one when she appeared at, uh, mm. at the Barclay Centre way back. Mm. Um, again, that was, that was fantastic. Oh, no. Only problem was she only did three songs. Yeah. It was great to have her there. Uh, and once she did actually two songs and, a, and uh, did Ooh Ah just a little bit once more, once more. So yeah. they didn't get a lot of value for money. But then again, it wasn't that expensive. It wasn't as early in those days. Yeah. Uh, for, like, like some clubs do, unfortunately, now. But no, that was really good. Uh, we also had the Outier Brothers, mm. who uh, your listeners might remember being a bit cheeky with their lyrics. <laughs> but, uh, that, they, we didn't have a very good turnout. Again, they were number one in the charts when they were at our club. Yeah. Didn't have a very good turnout at the club at all, really. It was a bit disappointing, but they were absolutely brilliant. They were really nice guys, and, and uh, a, really good, a really good show was put on as well. Um, the, the, what, the, the two that stick out in my mind, actually, is on a Wednesday night, we uh, used to do a very popular student night, which you might remember, when old yes. drinks were a pound ago. Mm. Um, and we actually introduced live music downstairs, and we were lucky enough to have a band brand new from the West Country um, on, on on tour, that, just doing the pubs and clubs around. They actually did the gig for us for nothing, free yeah. of charge, mm. and all we had to do was provide the PA system, oh which cost about a hundred pound. Mm. Uh, and that band was called Muse. Muse. Muse appeared at the club uh, that night. Somebody from the record company saw them at the Barclay Centre and signed them there and then. Mm. So if you like. Uh, I'm a part of pop history, pop culture on that. Uh, and, a little, and then two weeks later, we had another band in called Baby Bird. You might remember them with a record called Ooh, You're Gorgeous. Yeah. Um, they actually were signed exactly the same thing by the same company, same A&R man, came down, saw them and signed them two yeah. weeks later. Yeah. So again, you know, uh, the Barclay remembering all those days was quite forefront in what we were doing. The thing is, on a Friday and Saturday night, you know, at the peak, you could, you could boast over a thousand people a night, couldn't you? One oh, that's right, yeah. Regular. It's fantastic, and I, I remember seeing uh, sort of lots of good bands at, at the Berkeley on the on the top floor mainly, and um, one that uh, stuck in my mind in particular was the Michael Jackson uh, tribute. Yeah, um, Mickey J. Uh, funny you say that because we 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 not long had her here. Yeah. Um, again, um, and that was the, say the first time I worked with her in, in over ten years. Yeah. Um, and, and she's just as good as, uh, absolutely fantastic. It's a girl, actually, that does the Michael Jackson impression. She's brilliant. And we actually booked her um, literally two days before Michael Jackson announced his gigs in, uh, in London yeah. in the O2. And, mm. and it was quite clever because, you know, we bounced off all the advertising that was going and all the hype that was going with that. Yeah. And we had a great night with her. And for, unfortunately, uh, Michael Jackson uh, died. And uh, yeah. we, we were all shocked by that. Terrible loss to the, to, to the world of music, I think. Yeah, I just, I remember, uh, I wasn't actually there, but I've heard rumours, as, as you do in Camborne. Uh, on one, um, one April Fool's Day, uh, you told people that Steps were going to be live on stage. Ah, uh, no, that wasn't... <laughs> That was actually here in 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 uh, in, in, in Bodmin. We did. Oh, was it Bodmin? The Bartley Centre. I I said a thing that all members would get in free, and uh, they would have ten pounds worth of free drinks as well. Uh, and it was on a night we wouldn't normally open, like a Tuesday. And I got a phone call because I was I was living in Newquay at the time. I got a phone call from the manager saying, "You better get down here because we've got a riot on our hands." <laughs> there were six hundred people outside demanding to be let in. Oh no! And uh, you know, I I uh, <laughs> I just got off that and actually phoned the television station and asked if they could put some. Kind of thing on the air, and, and they did. They mentioned it on the six o'clock news. Yeah. So just going back, sorry, just going back to this steps thing. So obviously you announced it, saying all oh, steps will be live on stage up in Bodmin. Uh, what, what did you actually? What actually? What, what happened there? What uh, What did you do? Well, I, I told the customers that steps would be appear, would be appearing at the uh, Eclipse mm. on a very good chance. 
they won't be performing they'll just be here mm. in, having a drink with us so there's a chance that if you want your photograph taken with them or an autograph if you like steps mm. you should be here on Saturday night mm. uh, and it just happens that Saturday night was um, the uh, the last day of March into April the 1st at 12 <laughs> midnight yeah. so what I did is I took a small pair of step ladders on stage with me <laughs> and at midnight bang on I said ladies and gentlemen and I tell you what it was a packed club yeah. it was bouncing at the scene bending it was as a word uh, and I said ladies and gentlemen we've all come here to see steps I'm glad to say they're here everybody cheered and then I held a pair of steps up was it, did, and, uh, <laughs> and then, of course, April Fool, you mugs. Yeah, did anyone get uh, a bit annoyed about it? No, everybody everybody took it in really good, uh, in good yeah. humour, good faith. <laughs> Just said, uh, you've been hard, mate. You know? yeah. mm. Only you, Roger, could probably get away with that, I must admit. Only me, yeah. Um, with the, uh, just a couple more things about the Berkeley and all. Um, I remember uh, you, there was a massive, uh, two ed- there was a two-headed laser, it wasn't there, massive. Was it one of the biggest or strongest in, in Cornwall at one point? Yeah, it was. Um, it was a... Uh, it was a superseded many years later, mind, by a mm. three-headed laser, but you know, the two-headed laser we had was um, actually a six-watt argon mm. water cool laser, and it was you know, one of the most powerful ones, in, in, in certainly in Cornwall. And, uh, well, I think you remember it, because only the other day I was searching through my photographs, and I've got a picture of you standing underneath it. You did do a photo shoot, and they've never been used until uh, just recently, when, I, when the, the old Facebook thing uh, came about. So I used right, them yeah. on, on Facebook, yeah, I never did use them. Let's say it was a, that was a, a good evening, actually, d- taking those photographs, a good laugh, actually. And uh, do, you, do you remember, well, of course you remember, uh, we had the uh, the cold taps would run a little bit warm when the laser was running. Do you oh, know where yeah, it was? Yeah, right, because the, the laser was water-cooled at the time, and we used to take it from the cold tanks, yeah. which were sitting situated up on the roof above the laser, but those cold water tanks fed the cold water taps yeah. in the ladies' toilets. Yeah. But because the ladies used to get so warm, if nobody ran the taps <laughs> in the ladies' toilets for a while, the taps, the taps would be coming out hot water, hotter than the hot tap. What's, uh, what would you say would you be your fondest memory about the Berkeley over all the years you worked there? I just, I, I think it, it would be the customers, the loyal customers. Mm. Um, I, I, after, after a few years of leaving the uh, the bar, I went back there to see, you know, what what had happened with it subsequently. And in fact, every time I've gone back to the bar, just for a night out, uh, I've I've just been uh, surrounded by people who say, you know, uh, hello and how are you and what are you doing? Mm. And it's great to be remembered there like that. Uh, so uh, now the future, uh, you've been at uh, Club Eclipse for uh, quite a few years now. Uh, you've you actually, you've taken it on. You've, it's yours now, is it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we took it off ago. Um, the owner wanted to retire uh, and uh, gave me first option to buy it off him. And uh, after seeing two or three bank managers, uh, one of them came up and said, yes, let's go ahead. Excellent. I'm sure you do lots of uh, fun and games and promotions up there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, on a Friday, certainly. Yeah. Uh, Friday is the cheaper night of the week, and uh, we offer uh, lager, uh, Carlsberg lager, Tetley's Bitter. Oh, it's lovely, but it's always a good pint. It is always a good pint. I've been up there, and I've had a few myself, as you know. Yeah, very well, Bill. <laughs> So what what are your plans for the future then? Are you uh, are you going to are you going to carry on DJing the club or are you going uh, to? We, we'll see. Um, I mean, I'm I'm starting to feel a bit maybe a bit long in the tough, uh, but I'm I'm pleased with the way things are going. I'm happy that I've converted over to digital. Uh, I'm lucky to have um, some good friends as DJs like yourself who can uh, look yeah. after the club when I want to go away on holiday. Mm. Uh, but no, I think, uh, yeah, in the future, I think uh, you will see me hanging up my headphones for a while. If people want to get hold of you or uh, come up and see you, uh, your whereabouts are you in uh, Bodmin, for those who aren't sure where the club is? Yeah, well, we're up by the Bodmin and Wentford Steam Railway, um, which is just uh, on the outskirts of Bodmin. Um, we're situated just outside, if you like, but mm. just in. It's really weird, but it's not in the town centre like people would imagine it to be. Mm. And we're in an old converted hospital as part of the old army barracks. I bet it's haunted, isn't it? Uh, well, that's that's debatable. Yeah, uh, it should be because <laughs> it's a hospital and it's it's an old place. So uh, I mean, the Barclay said it was haunted. Uh, I don't know if it still is, but uh, no, it should be haunted. But I, I I I I've never seen anything that's never affected me. Roger, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Leon. And I think we've brought, out, brought back some great memories for a lot of people. I know we've had people listening in that used to go to the Berkeley, and I'm sure they, you know, if they want to get hold of you, they can do via they can get hold of you via Facebook. They can come up and see you at Club Eclipse uh, in Bodmin. Uh, Roger Collins Club. It's Club Eclipse in Bodmin. You can find him on Facebook. It's uh, Eclipse Club. It's, it's, it's called Just Eclipse Club, isn't it? Yeah, uh, Just Eclipse. And we have a website that will be starting soon. We're having a build at the moment. Yeah. And that's be www.eclipsenightclub.co.uk. Yeah. Do you have a phone number there, just in case you want to get? Of you? Yeah, it's uh, 01208 for Bodmin and it's 78878. It's been very entertaining. I'm, I'm very, very pleased that you uh, came on and yes, I think. Yeah, I th- uh, Roger, thank you ever so much for joining us.
No problem at all. Thank you very much, Phil. I'll speak to you soon. Yeah, good luck. Bye, Roger. Bye now.